Hi everybody, Allie here with ABC Bead Supply, and I'm here today to share with you that I'm so excited that we're now offering um, supplies to make um, dog beaded dog collars, um, collars, necklaces, whichever term you'd like to use for it. Um, and not only do we have all of the supplies available now on the site, but I'm going to give you a tutorial today on how to make these um, because they're a lot of fun. Um, you may have seen some posts recently. I know I did a video of the vet gifts that we had done. We have a six-month-old puppy um, who is my sidekick, and she hangs out here with me all day. Um, so she definitely needed a beaded necklace and... Um, is probably the reason why we're carrying this line now. Um, they're just so cute. So um, let's see, let's go over. So there's two different types um, of, of uh, styles that you can do um, here. One is using 20 millimeter beads and one is using 12 millimeter beads. So both the 20 and the 12 millimeters are going to work. Um, it's just preference on dog size. I like the smaller um, 12 millimeter beads per, um, personally on our pup. Um, she's 15 pounds and right now, and I think it's a good size, the 20 millimeter bead look, look nice too. They're a little chunkier. I think she's a little bit more comfortable in the 12. Um, so definitely just a preference thing there. Um, either size um, of the beads are going to work with the 1.5 millimeter um, stainless steel braided wire that we have. This is a super heavy duty gauged wire. Um, it's intended for like hanging picture frames. <laughs> really, really meant for heavy duty, heavy hanging. It has a recommended max um, tension weight of 250 pounds. Um, so you're really can't, um, you're not going to have to worry about breaking this, um, with, with a dog. Um, so either of the beads are going to fit through this wire, um, without having to worry about drilling the holes or anything. We worked hard to find a wire that did not require any drilling. Um, and then you're going to select your O-ring size for the center of your collar. Um, so the larger, again, is preference, and you can mix and match between the sizes. There's a 25 millimeter sized ring, and then there is a um, 20 millimeter um, sized ring. So I personally felt like the 25 millimeter looked nice with the 20 millimeter beads, so it was a little bit bigger than the beads, and that the 20 millimeter um, O-ring looked a little bit nicer with the um, the 12 millimeter and again that's just personal preference so you can you can change your mind and you can do your own thing and you can do the larger 25 millimeter ring on a 12 millimeter um with 12 millimeter beads totally your call also can have to do with your dog's neck size and what you think might look best on their neck um again we have a little girl and i just like the i liked the 20 uh, millimeter for her um again there was nothing wrong with this and i've got pictures of her in both um so you can check those out and you can get it kind of a size a size gauge um actually I filmed some videos of her today too I'll put them at the end of this video so you can see her wearing the necklaces um the aluminum cable crimping sleeves um these are going to be used on both either size so these um the sizing of these pairs up with the cord the, um, the wire. So that's going to be the same no matter which o-ring you choose to use. And then this is a piece of clear silicone tubing. Um, this goes over, um, you, you cut it to size and it goes over um, these crimp cable, uh, the, the, the crimping sleeves um, that are on here. So this is um, just a piece of clear tubing that goes over to give it a little bit more of a polished look and to not have any of that, um, the metal from that crimped um, tool being exposed. So you don't have to worry about hair, you know, getting in, in that crimp, that crimp um, sleeve or anything like that. Okay, so let's start with, I, have already so first the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to want to measure your um, dog's um, head and I've got a separate video um, here that I'm going to cut to uh, to show you how to just take a piece of cord it doesn't matter what kind of string you use and you're going to just 
take a piece of stringer cord and you're gonna measure your dog first. So let's watch that. So when you're trying to find the measurement of what size um, of a beaded uh, collar you're gonna make for your pup, you want to take um, just a piece of cord, a piece of string, uh, yarn, whatever, um, and you are wanting to measure the top of their head, oh, the top of their head here to the bottom of their chin here. So you'll take the cord and you're just gonna wrap that around right like that and that's the measurement that you're taking so this is the widest part that it's going to be going on is from the top of their head here until the bottom of their chin and that's going to be the biggest point that it needs to be to slide on their face so you're just going to mark that spot and trim it and then this is the length that you're going to be working with um, that you want your collar to be you can go back to sleep now Okay, so now that you have your um, your measurement to work with, um, you're gonna take that piece of cord and then that's what you're gonna work off for your beading length. I have already pre-strung, so you didn't have to watch me add 14 beads to a piece of cord. Um, I've already pre-strung um, the 20 millimeter beads onto this wire. Um, if you are using a large, 25 millimeter o-ring you're going to um, three and a half inches of your length is going to be dedicated to the o-ring in addition to this wired end so the loop and the um, crimp cable the um, the cable crimping sleeve um, so this component and the o-ring um, that is all you're going to want to leave three and a half inches so I'm gonna take my ruler and measure three and a half inches on it. That's what I want to allow my allowance for all that hardware. And then I want to bead the rest of that length, okay? So the rest of the length that I need for that, for that collar is going to be in beads. So that's how I got to this amount. If you are using the 12 millimeter beads, or actually the, the bead size doesn't matter. If you're using the 20 millimeter O-rings, um, you're gonna want to do three inches. So you would measure three inches instead of three and a half and then bead the rest. So three and a half inches for the large and three inches for the small. Um, okay, so. Normally, you would do this without having your beads on first, um, but that's, this is fine. I'm going to work right on this end here, and you'll still, still get the idea. So this is one of the um, cable crimping sleeves. You're actually going to need two. These are sold in 10 packs, so one package is enough for five dog collars. All of the wire is sold by the foot, so you can figure out your measurement that you need for that collar. Um, and then order accordingly. So um, Taya is my pup, um, and she's a little bit over um, a foot. So I would order two feet for for her. Um, if you are making, you know, five um, of these, since she wouldn't necessarily need, you know, a no a whole extra foot for each one, I could get. Um, let's see, I could get six feet. And that would be enough to make five collars um, with her measurement because there would be five feet plus just a little bit extra that's needed. And you need extra just for plain old beading. So you're not wasting just an inch um, by buying the extra foot because you need, you know, more, more wire to work with than your final measurement. Um, so if you got six or seven feet, you could get five collars out of that to line up with um, the cable crimping sleeve. For her measurement, you'd have to do the math for your dog's collar size and what you would need. Um, the O-rings are all sold in five packs too. And then the um, clear silicone tubing also is enough for five. So everything, um, all of the hardware components, we've kept evenly as enough to make five uh, collars with with the exception of this just being based on the size that you're making. Um, so hopefully that helps you, helps you math out your projects and not have too much waste. 
So for this, you're gonna take um, the crimp, when you're done crimping this crimp sleep tube, it ends up just a little bit longer because when you crimp it, it expands, that metal expands. Um, so the measurement is about half of an inch on the um, this tubing and you're gonna just cut two pieces, um, one for each end, right around a half an inch. All right, so we have all of our hardware ready. I am going to um, put on, let's see, we're gonna put on the crimp first, the tube first, and then this tube second. And trim just a smidge off that tube. It looks a little longer than the other one. <clears throat> just like that, and then we've got the O-ring and then I am going to fold this wire and go back through that tube. And then the sleeve here, there's two holes. So I'm gonna go right back into that. So I'm gonna go back into the second hole now. So it went through the first, the first hole and then it's folding up and around and then down into that second. You want your your wire to end just under that tube. You don't want it to poke out because then the wire ends are going to be exposed and you don't want them exposed. You want them hidden underneath that tube. Um, so I'm just going to pull this longer side that's connected taut because you want to have, you want to get it situated so that you've got no wire peeking up on that side. So I'm gonna take a little bit more out, just like that. I hope I can still see the wire. So I'm gonna just take a little bit more out without taking too much. There we go. So now I've got my wire is right to the end of this um, tube, and I've got my tubing, that's the silicone tubing that's gonna cover this, is right on top of that between the o-ring and the crimp sleeve and now you're going to take i've got a link to these pliers in the blog post um, you can get them on amazon you can get them at your local hardware store um, this isn't something these aren't something that we can carry unfortunately just because it's more of a tool item um, it's not meant for jewelry making um, it's an actual tool so you're going to just take these and line it up with, um, let's see, it's the one to two millimeter mark here. So it's the second from the bottom. You're just gonna put the tube lined up and then squeeze. Nice and hard. And then you're gonna open up those pliers and shimmy it down and you're gonna squeeze again. And it's just really important to make sure that you've got that wire firmly snug inside that crimp. You're gonna pull, 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 pull really hard to test that and make sure it doesn't move or budge. And it doesn't. So that's all set. And so now I'm gonna slide that tubing over the, um, the crimp sleeve. so that it's protected and that there's no chance of wire or anything poking or hanging and it just gives it a more finished edge. And then the beads are gonna go up flush to that. Now we're gonna come on to the other side. So normally that's when you would put your beads on. I've already done that. And we're going to put the other sleeve on along with the um, silicone tubing. And then we're gonna take, so those two pieces are on. This, this length of wire that I have is really too long, but we're gonna trim it. And then you're gonna take that piece and we're 
going to fold it over and I'm going to go through just this silicone tubing to start with because I just want to get this wire bending while I have um, extra cord length to pull at and to make sure that it's secure and to figure out the length that I need to cut it. Um, I don't want that going into that tube yet. So at this point, I can tell that that is gonna be nice and tight. It's nice and snug. There's no gaps in that line. Um, now I feel comfortable locking into the length of that cord. So you can use wire, like a, a actual tool um, cable cutter. I actually have found that my sharp Fiskars work just as well. And I feel, I feel more in control of scissors than those things. So I prefer to just use scissors. If you don't have really sharp scissors, you might need to get um, cable cutter. And I'm just gonna trim the wire so that it's gonna be, remember we don't wanna go all the way through that cable, we wanna go just shy of coming out that end. So I'm gonna trim at that point. Like I said my scissors work, there we go. Okay, so now I'm just gonna back this wire out a little bit and you can use a pair of pliers to help you with that. Um, I'm gonna back that wire out a little bit so that we can move it over into the hole, the other hole on that crimp sleeve. And once you get it lined up, you're gonna just push that wire back down and feed it through that crimp. And you're gonna go until you can see it just coming out. Remember, you don't want it to go all the way through. You want it to be just at the base of that end. And then we're going to go back in with these tools, this tool, and we're going to squeeze down, and then we're going to slide it over, and we're going to get the other side, give it a really good squeeze, and then I'm going to go right in the middle too, just for good measure. Double check it, make sure that that's got a really good, strong hold. And then that tube is gonna slide right back over. And there you go. <clears throat> You've got your beaded collar. So, same thing with the 12 millimeter size and with the 20 millimeter, it's just that you're, um, you're changing the beading length you're leave, allowing three and a half inches for the large ring and three inches for that smaller ring. Um, otherwise, all of your um, hardware pieces, everything is gonna be the same, um, same tool for crimping, um, the same cable sleeves for both sizes. Um, it's just a matter of your preference on the O-ring size. So you can head on over to abcbeadsupply.com. Uh, you can check out the photos um, and supply lists, uh, clickable supply lists to duplicate these projects. Um, and then this video will be archived there as well. Um, all the resources to make these will all be in one spot right over on the blog at abcbeadsupply.com. So now I've got my finished um, beaded color and I'm gonna put it on to you. So I'm just gonna take the collar and slip it right over her head just like that and then I can either use this for a leash uh, for walking her we walk with harnesses so um, 
personally, I'm just going to be using this for her dog tag, for her collar um, tag to hang off of um, and have it be more decorative and for identification. Um, but if you choose to walk with collars, um, with the durability of the cord and the hardware and everything that was used, um, you should feel comfortable doing so. Thank you.